Manju Khanna, but I like to be part of Madhuban with the name that Madhuban has given to me, and that is Anju Didi. Uh, an educationist at heart, and that is my connect to Shri Aurobindo and the mother also. As far as I'm concerned, I think what Madhuban has given to me is a sense of a community without the rush of life. So, so you grow from just being an educator to an educator of life, listening, understanding, and, and also growing from within yourself. Madhuban, the very name, it was the first place where the beekeeping association started. Madhuban is in the valley of Talla Ramgar, in the lush mountains of Kumau Hills, close in the district of Nenital. All the people who've been here have discovered a new passion in Madhuban. Passion for the mountains, passion for flowers becoming a reality with Tara Didi. She always had it, but here she got a canvas. Madhuban is a place where I feel that if one wants to do personal sadhana and have an inner quiet and peace, it is an ideal place. We do conduct a lot of spiritual camps here, trying to spread the message of Sri Aurobindo and the mother. Since Sri Aurobindo did not believe that one needs to retire from life to practice his yoga, we also try to do programs for the village children and youth, especially in education. When I started analyzing my life, bepar karna, sabko piche chhod dena, maduban banana, itna sundar koi bhi aata hai, bolay itna sundar. To ye mera bas ka nahi tha, ek shakti mere piche kam kar rahi thi. Or idhar aane ke baad, fir mujhe isa lagta laga ke mere liye wo jo shakti hai, wo ma ka roop hai. To this was the beginning. Seventy years की उम्र में मुझे इस लगता कि ये कोई संभालने वाला चाहिए। तो मुझे इस लगा कि परिवार नहीं संभाल पाएगा। तो दीदी के पास गया। दीदी ने बहुत प्यार से बोला कि क्यों दे रहे? इतनी बड़ी प्रॉपर्टी है। मैंने बोला ये मेरी नहीं है। ये माँ की है। तो मेरा जो विश्वास जो है वो ये है कि आप कुछ नहीं है यू आर गोइंग बाय योर फाइन और इट इज ही हु इज डूइंग एवरीथिंग इट इज ही हु इज डूइंग एवरीथिंग मधुबन तू सम एक्सटेंड is also Sri Aurobindo's foothold in the Himalayas, as mother called it. So in that sense, in its location, in its spiritual connotations, in its scenic beauty, and in the work that we do at Madhubar, everything gets connected. And this connect is what human life actually aspires for. So we have a lot of people who come here, and these people do not now are not the seekers of Nenital. These are the seekers of quietude, who come for solitude. So we have a lot of writers who come here. We have a lot of creative artists who come here. We have musical retreats here. We have softness and the rhythm that you can hear your own body. You can hear your own inner ecology. So in that sense, Madhuban is a gem in the Himalayas. And I came here initially as an educator to work in the village schools. And that's my first connect to Madhuban. We started working with the little children and we discovered that these children have a beautiful attention span. They're like pure. They can learn anything. So we took a first step back and said, we will not teach them. We will first listen and understand what they know. And that was something very new for the valley. We have poets who are emerging here. We just finished a creative writing workshop for children. 
Uh, we have artists. Many books have come up by the children of Madhupur. There's a beautiful book which has now come up called Hamara Rang. There is dance, there is music, there is play. And I think psychologically speaking, that whole early years which we are trying to touch, because we are still not working with senior classes. We are working with the primary classes. There's a huge opportunity to connect to the inner child. And so we see children are now freer. They, they have that sense of gaiety. And they, they are not as burdened as they were. So that is work done by us, by the team of volunteers which comes to us from all over the world. My aim is to be able to prepare materials for Ramgarh through Ramgarh teachers so that this dependence in particularly grades 1 to 8 on textbooks which have nothing to do with the people here is changed. Not that those textbooks are bad but there is need for putting in materials which are available locally and the teachers here are badly in need of exposure so We've been able to bring films and start a resource center in Sadasuk, which would be a part of the Kushali program. A program to support teachers in whatever work they're doing with the help of everybody here. Kushali is the growth of the happiness of the valley. So that Kushali is through the teachers, through the mothers, through the children and it's the children of this valley who will make the difference. What we need are more people. What we need are people who want to discover themselves here, who are, who are not running away from home. People who are not abandoning things. Because Shirar Bindu's yoga is not one of abandoning things. It's coming and adding another layer on that sunlit path which we all discover. Volunteers are coming. We need to streamline our volunteership more. Uh, we have many dreams. But every time a new project starts, it starts because of the volunteer who has come. Hello, my name is Adam Sequera. I'm from California. I first came to Madhuban in March for two weeks as a guest with a, a Yatra group and I just absolutely fell in love with the place. So they were looking for somebody to help with uh, garment production and sewing with the village women and I had just recently left school for fashion design and was looking for an opportunity to share my skills. So uh, working with the village woman, a little bit of a language barrier, but we were definitely able to work through that because uh, once you get to a certain point, most communication is you know behind words, and you really get into the flow of things. One thing I would uh, I would like to to bring here to to help the village woman with is uh, a creative outlet, an outlet for creativity something they could use, some skills they could use to express themselves. And I believe that they can definitely do that through this garment production and clothing design. My name is Neema Joshi. I came here in 2013 to learn how to learn. When I came here, I got a machine from here. Then I took the machine home and took it home. I also teach the children and teach the children. We are all together and go to the jungle, 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 and to the jungle, to the jungle, to the green tea. We put it in the jungle, and we have a small stock here. If we have an order, we put it out and we put it out. We put it out and we put it out. We get the money from the village. We also have a small stock here. We have a small stock here. We have a small stock here. Anju Didi ne bhi humse kam karwaya matlab ye bunai silai ka karo bolke to mera bachcho ka fish bhi do bachcho ka fish bhi dete hai ho yaha ke hume bhoat achcha hua matlab jo hum soos dete wo sapna humara pura ho raha hai
Namaste. My name is Markus. Um, I'm from Germany and I'm 25 years old. And right now I'm a volunteer in Madhuban Sri Aurobindo Ashram in Ramgad. Anju Didi just told me, you know, what are you good in? What do you want to do? What is your skills? How do you want to apply yourself? She never told me like, you do this, you have to do this. So I started teaching yoga classes there. I just, for the other volunteers, I take a yoga class in the morning and I'm really enjoying that. And beside that, what you're seeing here is that I started to teach this instrument, which is called the ukulele, to the kids of the Sunrise School here in Ramgad. And more so than only teaching an instrument, I'm I'm trying to develop the sense of creative self-expression through music. Uh, I think it's going really well, at least I'm enjoying the classes a lot. I hope the little ones do too. The community of sadhaks, community of people who are coming here, uh, somewhere I have a sense of faith that there's a larger hand here than the efforts that we are putting. And that is a continuous faith. And it gets linked uh, to the vision for Madhuban. The vision is a very special space which becomes a model for other ashrams. It's not a space where there are rituals. It's not a space which has got any kind of an idea of religion. But deep inner harmony with oneself. When one feels calm inside, when one feels connected inside. And I look at it and I see all 12 qualities of the mother coming here. So if all those qualities come, there is definitely a better offering that we can give to the world. My name is Lodha. We have about 40 people in the group. We have come from different states of India. One is the peace. We can listen to the peace here. In the other cities, the peace is so much that the peace is not going to know. And the peace is so much that the peace is in the same place. The peace is in the same place. We have also been in the Ayurveda camp in Nainital, Dr. Katoj. लेकिन यहाँ हम लोगों को काफी अलग अनुभूति हुई है। यहाँ पे इतने खुले में हम लोगों ने प्रकृति के साथ में किया, इसलिए हम लोगों ने आयुर्वेदा के साथ साथ प्रकृति का भी आनंद लिया और हम लोगों ने फील किया कि प्रकृति भी हम लोग सुन सकते हैं उसको भी। I cannot really put it into words. It has to be experienced. So if someone will ask me like how life is at Madhuban, I won't say that this is how it is. I'll rather ask them to come here, visit here. It not it has not to be for a month. You can come for few days, two days, three days, because this place is all about the vibes. So you have to experience this. It cannot be put into words, or I cannot explain this, like how I feel over here.